this picture, the, uh, these pictures you see right here of the moon, uh, this is a picture of a, a penumbral lunar eclipse. And uh, I took this picture from this uh, this website, which is the Hong Kong Space Museum. It's an example of how you can see a penumbral lunar eclipse. Now, this kind of uh, eclipses, it's it's a, a little bit difficult to see it because it is there is not much differences between the full moon and uh, an eclipse. On this case, uh, this is the full moon right here, and you can see how it starts getting dark on this tab. And this is the maximum right here. This is what we call the graded eclipse. The reason I show you this is because on May 25th, 2013, we are going to have another eclipse, and this is going to be a penumbral lunar eclipse. I might apologize for that call. Um, as I was saying, uh, the reason I show this image is because we are going to have a third, uh, and this, I mean, in less than a month, we're going to have another eclipse. Uh, the last one we have on April 25th, it was a lunar eclipse. It was a partial, uh, and then we have yesterday a solar e eclipse. It was annular, but that now this one right here will be on May 25th. And there are some points that I need to show you before you are, you know, getting ready to see it. Um, this is uh, uh, this is the website from NASA, and uh, as you can see in the name, in the name, just Google it, NASA Eclipse website, and then uh, this this page right here show you what's the uh, the solar the eclipses uh, on 2013. Uh, this right here, that's the box we'll show you. Um, this is the first one I already see it. Actually, it was the first of the year. April 25th was a partial lunar eclipse. And then we see that yesterday. But this is the one I want to talk about it. This is the the uh, this is the information about the solar eclipse. We, clink, we can click on this um, image right here. Let me increase this view a little bit more. This uh, is some sort of... Uh, um, a schematic or map of the uh, complete information of this eclipse but this is the uh, I'm not gonna get into much into technical words it's, it's kind of difficult for me as you can see my English is probably not really really good but I'm trying to explain things that I already know but the point is this uh, the, the penumbral lunar eclipse will be on May 25th 2013 but this is one thing um, first we're gonna start on the dates and time um, the, the 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 time for this eclipse it's marked in here. We need to look at the greatest eclipse time. It's marking on a, a four hours and nine minutes in universal time. This is the time of the greatest eclipse. That means this is the time where the eclipse will be in this area. This is the maximum eclipse you're gonna see. Now, what time on North America it's gonna be the four hours and nine minutes on universal time? Um, let's check this out. On my previous videos uh, that I have made it, uh, I show this this website and some of them. They called the Time Sun Converter. I'm gonna try to uh, put this thing on the uh, browser side, so if you can probably see the link. Just just click the uh, just you can just type the, the Time Sun Converter .com or go to Google and just put the Time Sun Converter .com. This is a very easy tool, and uh, and uh, I like this page. This is a very easy tool to to convert the time. Now. If you remember, the uh, graded, ecl graded eclipse will be at, at 4 with 9 minutes universal time. So what we do in this case, we just uh, uh, convert the time. First of all, we can go at the time of... Uh, okay, so just go to 409, that beauty. Okay, so this is this is what I was uh, showing you. If you go to UT time, universal time, uh, 409, it's gonna take you to 11 p.m. a previous day. This means that the sol uh, the, this, this lunar eclipse. Let me get to this website. This lunar eclipse that is marked on May 25th. It, the, the date is always marked on the greatest uh, eclipse time and moment, and it's always used in universal time. So this means that the eclipse will be uh, visible on not in America and uh, on May 25th, which is Friday, and it should be in the afternoon. On this case right here, my local time, I'm in Houston, Texas. So for me, the the greatest eclipse will be at 11 o'clock, 11 with nine minutes, and a previous day, which is be in Friday, May 24. Once we have established the time for us and the date, we look at, at this thing now the contacts the p1 is the um, see 
it should be the p the first uh, account that would of the of the eclipse, and it's marked at 3:53 hours. So that means the moon is going to start passing through the uh, Earth's uh, penumbra at 3:53. Let's convert the time to see how I mean what time will be for us in here on Houston. It was uh, 51. No, I'm sorry. It was 53. So that means that at 10:53 p.m. on Friday, May 24, this is where, I mean, this is when the time, this is when the eclipse will be star for for us, like for people who live in Houston and whoever uh, uh, uses uh, Central Time on United States. Now this time is as com is almost the same that uh, in other places like Mexico City. It's the same time. Um, if you go to Canada, let's get Montreal. It's 11:53 p.m. So for Canada, the eclipse will be start almost almost when the day changed to the to the May 20 uh, to May 25th, but it's still gonna start at 11:53. Uh, the greatest eclipse will be for them a little bit after 12, like maybe 12:50 or so, and that will be on May 25th for them. But for the people like uh, in the United States and uh, Mexico and Central America, the time will be on Friday. Uh, let's try now uh, San Salvador. This is uh, Central America. For them, the eclipse will start at 9.53 p.m. on Friday, uh, May 24. We can go to Venezuela. For them, it starts at 11:23 p.m. And I can, you know, keep playing around with this time zone converter, but the point is this, for uh, um, uh, uh, the con American continent, uh, the eclipse pretty much will start a day before that May 25th. This means uh, it's going to start on a a May 24, which is Friday. Most of the time in the afternoon after 7:30 to 11 now going back to this uh, schematic right here um, the eclipse will be ending uh, and then uh, the P4 will be the last part the contact will be uh, when the moon is getting out of the penumbra and it's marked at 426 so just to see for us in Houston when the eclipse is over it's still gonna be Friday night 11:26 p.m. previous day. That means it's it's, it's May 24. Uh, you can u I'm gonna leave these uh, links of these pages that I'm using right now in the description of the video. So whatever you are in the world or any whatever you leave, you can just you know click on the link and and make your con own conversion. Remember, you only need to type UTC in here, which is mean a um, coordinated universal time, and then click in here your song whatever you leave. Okay, now we already know the times and the dates for this. Now, the next step I want to show you is where we're gonna be, uh, where we're gonna see this eclipse. What, what part of the world? Uh, uh, this is a map. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger. This is a map that is marking. Okay, much better. Um, you can see right here. I mean, a, a big area of Africa, the continent, will be see it. All South America, Central America, and North America will see it, except Alaska and a little piece of Canada. As you can see, almost half of Canada, they will see the eclipse. So that's you know kind of good news at least. Um, we Friday night for most of these people who live in this area will be on the next day on May 24 for the people who live in here. Well, now what? Once you establish this, um, if you live in uh, you know any place around here, just remember type 3:53 Universal Time on the page that I already show you, and once you type there, you will find that at what time exactly the eclipse will start in your zone. Now the next thing we're gonna uh, look is this: What do you expect to see? Well, this is one thing. Um, and this is a little bit sad, I will say, for uh, some people, uh, because when you're talking about eclipses or events on the space, a lot of people, you know, get happy and, and, and they expect great things, like big things. Um, for example, the the Pamstar comet. Um, 
there was a lot of you know expectation about how how can we see it and and where and they will see it with the naked eye but the point is on the moment when when it's already there a lot of people didn't see it and to be honest I didn't even see it with the naked eye but I used the camera and you know you modified some things in there set up the light whatever and then make the uh, the comet visible in the picture what I want to get this to this point we call this a penumbra lunar eclipse because this this picture you see right here this image you see right here represents the earth's shadow um, to this eclipse uh, happen it has to be this way the sun is first the earth is in the middle and the uh, the moon is after the last one so the the shadow in the middle this will call umbra and this other shadow called penumbra now it happened that this um, eclipse will be a very 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 almost impossible to detect some differences between the moon full moon and eclipse at moon uh, do you see this area right here well this is the only part of the moon that will be eclipsed by this uh, penumbra uh, shadow of earth so bottom line is you probably don't want to see a big differences probably you see a little bit um, just in case the full moon will be in a, on a May 25th eclipses happen when it's full moon all the time so remember you're not gonna you know see the whole moon get it darker or change color but you got this little part to see now if you want to know how the uh, uh, lunar eclipse happen just go to Google and type lunar eclipse and uh, click on image once you're there I mean there's a lot of a lot of information about how this happened um, I'm gonna pick up one one image, the big one. I think this is a 400. And I'm gonna increase this view. But what happened in here is like I told you before: uh, the sun is first, and then the earth, and then is the moon. And now this is what we call penumbra eclipse. Uh, there is two different shadows from the earth. They call umbra and penumbra when the uh when the moon across this area only this area only it just it called just uh, a lunar a penumbra lunar eclipse when the uh the moon crosses this whole line completely 100% cross this line we call that a total eclipse and when this happen the moon changes colors with a beautiful like you know from full moon like white and bright and it changes the red or orange in here when it's in here now this is the second type of eclipse called you know total eclipse but if for some reason the moon crosses the penumbra and then and then just you know partial get to the penumbra little piece that eclipse called partial lunar eclipse because it doesn't get through the umbra the whole thing the 100 percent but it just go a little piece we call it partial so this is how eclipse it happens uh, i mean lunar eclipses happen um, so this is the three types of eclipses of lunar eclipses that uh, only exist: the uh, penumbral lunar eclipse, uh, partial lunar eclipse, and the total lunar eclipse. The one we are going to see on, uh, on May 24, May 25, it's called a penumbral lunar eclipse. If you want to see more pictures, just you know, like I say, go to Google Image and click solar lunar eclipses, and you see a lot of pictures of those those kind of eclipses. Okay, now um, if for some reason you're not gonna, uh, you're not, you're not gonna, you know, you cannot see the eclipse for some reason, you know, you're working or you don't have the uh, telescope or camera or it's cloudy or it's raining, this is the page right here, this website. Uh, just put on the browser this, um, this, this address. You're probably familiar with this. Uh, if not, just Google, Google this thing. Just put this name in here and a Google, and you, you know, find this page. This is a very nice page, a good page, and um, these guys, it's so professional. Um, they're going to show the eclipse live. That's what I mean to say right here. Uh, they always do this, you know, when a comet, the PAM star, when the transit of Venus, uh, uh, and things like that. They always got some telescopes around the world, in Hawaii and some other places, and, and they, they connect it together and, and put a show for us in here. Uh, and if you can see the other events right here, they already got the show, uh, uh, the event market for Penumbra Lunar Eclipse of uh, 25th May. Um, they, they will update, update this information pretty soon. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will put in there the 24 for North America. 
and this is in case if you all you know you cannot see this eclipse it's, they have a video already make about the uh, the annular eclipse that happened just yesterday now um, I like to ask you me invite you if you can come to this page it's uh, I create this Facebook page uh, almost it's gonna be almost a year it was in, in during the transit of Venus 2012 uh, this is the link facebook.com slash astronomy Houston um, I don't you know I don't make any profit with this page I just love astronomy and I like to share with others what I know but this page I got a lot of pictures that I took my own and, and pictures that I share from other people and I got a lot of information from NASA um, uh, most of the time on this page what I do is translate from English to Spanish um, like this video right here you probably if you look at my channel you probably see this video being translated from English to Spanish I did it um, and also I, I share some other pictures that I got my own um, I told you one of the things that I've been doing in here once you hear if you click on uh, uh, photos uh, you see some of the uh, the work that I done, like this one right here. I took this picture and uh, a name in some of the uh, the creators, so the people can have an idea. Oh, this other picture was uh, was uh, Saturn. You remember um, a few days ago? It was a very visible. I took this picture with the camera. I took this other one from uh, from Houston. Uh, it's a Jupiter and Galilean moons. And this one right here, I've got to study and uh, name these this is stars that looks around Jupiter. You know, every time you take a picture of the space, there's a lot of stars and things you can see, and there's programs and ways to know what you are looking. Uh, and you, it just take a lot of time, you know, to be investigating and, and know. It's um, I see a lot of videos around uh, with pictures of uh, you know, my, you know, wrong taken pictures or just confusing pictures and. Uh, but um, one thing I recommend you to do is when you take a picture of the space try to investigate well real deep what you're looking at and there's a lot of ways to do it guys there's a lot of you know um, good tools websites that can help you to do that I was looking at this um, Facebook and I, I think I created it on May 24 so I'm gonna celebrate one year uh, of this page on May 24 uh, f this Friday when it's the but this is one of the pictures that I make. I mean, they imagine that I show in there, and make, I make a video too, explaining about the transit of Venus and 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 how can you see it, what time, and the same thing that I'm doing right now. Uh, this is some of the uh, glasses that I order myself to um, to see this eclipse on but back in 2012, the transit of Venus. And right here, this is one of the pictures that I took that day. I mean, I like this one. It's, I like this so much. But this one you can see right here, that was Venus, and the whole is uh, the sun. I took this picture right here in Houston. Uh, it was a beautiful day, I remember that day. This other one is the, uh, the same thing, uh, this Venus right here. Some clouds in here, and that's the sun. That was probably almost when I was, almost when it's over for Houston. Yeah, we see this thing until 8, 8.25, 8.30 p.m. We don't see the whole uh, transit. We just see little partial area. But it was, it was a beautiful. I never see something like this in my life, and I'm so glad that I was there. And I'm, you know, more glad that I can share this with you guys. This is another one of the, uh, the moon on July 24, 2012. So what I, you know, what I want to go is just that if you can just uh, please like this page, guys, and I really, you know. Uh, encourage me a lot and give me you know motivate me a lot when I see people like this page um, I like to share with other people astronomy and this page is created in English and in Spanish so remember it's gonna be for North America and May 24 in the afternoon uh, for Africa will be like uh, May 25th um, if you had the chance to look at yourself you already you know I hope this this information that I bring it can help you in something you already have an idea what you're looking for and what time uh, if you prefer you can just go online and get online yeah and then uh, you can look you know look for uh, websites that they show you this video live uh, on my, on my opinion personal you know opinion I like more this page that I already show you uh, but you can just google and see who's gonna you know show this eclipse live my apologies for my poor English and uh, thank you for watching this video